Hey YouTube, it's uh, Pokemon Ape here, and today I'll be bringing you guys something a little bit different today. This is actually going to be like a tutorial on like how to record, um, I guess like Pokemon, uh, I guess like Game Boy Advance video games, uh, in like high definition or high quality basically. So basically, what we're going to need for this tutorial, you're going to need to have a copy of DX3. So DX3 is like a program. Uh, it's, it's, it's a program that you can record, like, gameplay on a computer with. I like it a lot. It's really reliable, and if you, if you really learn how to use it and everything, you can make, do a lot of amazing things with it. And you're also going to need, uh, Visual Boy Advance. And Visual Boy Advance, I like it. It's, like, it's really, it's really consistent. It's really easy to work with. That's why I like it a lot. And, I mean, I guess there are other, uh, emulators out there, but Visual Boy Advance is the one that I, like, I, I like the best and I, I mostly use. So yeah, that's why that's why I'm gonna use that. And so those are the two programs you're gonna need. And of course, you're also gonna need a computer that can like run games like this, and also like I guess like run DX3, and all that, all those shenanigans and stuff like that. But yeah, basically that's what you're gonna need. And let's get started. So basically, first what you wanna do is once you have DX3 installed, once you once you have purchased this, purchased it, I guess yeah, you're gonna to want to go uh, open up DX3 and you wanna to go to the settings and such. So basically. Um, when you, when you normally, yeah, so basically, you're gonna have DX3 here, and you're gonna have all of these, uh, random settings. So, basically, in DX3, what you wanna make sure you have, uh, set up, and everything, you wanna make sure you have, you wanna make sure that you have a, uh, a folder that you save all your, um, videos to. And to do this, you basically want to go and, uh, go to the folder settings, uh, you're gonna see this little add folder icon, you wanna hit that, and then you wanna choose a folder where you can save all your DX3 files. The thing with the X3 is that even though it's in high quality, the file size is going to be really large. So you have to be very careful about that. So if you don't have many space on your computer, what I suggest is that after you finish recording and after you finish rendering and you make get your video all completely finished, you delete your recording afterwards. So that way you don't have to waste space on your computer. Because these files are around one gigabyte, two gigabytes. They can be very, very large files, especially when you're recording for a long time. So that's the first place we're going to go. It's up here. Then we're going to go down to the hotkey setting. Now over here, this is basically this is basically where you like get to I guess choose whatever button you want to use to start recording and stop on your in your uh, in like while you're gaming basically. So if you want to record yourself gaming, you just you want to choose when to start. So you're gonna choose a button whenever you actually like want to start. So basically, this button I guess uh, would be zero on the numpad, and I guess to get a screenshot every gameplay, you're gonna hit the Alt tab on uh, your keyboard. So Basically, you just want to make sure you have those known, so when you want to start recording, you can just hit that. Next, you're going to want to go to this settings. It can kind of, it doesn't really exactly matter, but depending on what game you want to play, since we're going to be, do, um, since we're going to be doing uh, Game Boy games, you're going to I keep it at 30 frames per second. That's all you really need. That's like the max cap and everything. And then, um, you want to keep it on AVI. Don't do raw cap. AVI works much better. And uh, you want to have, yeah, file output, not direct show output. And basically all those good things. And um, over here, you can there's like a bunch of random ones. You can use the X3. I have this like random one that my friend gave me, but it's not really. I mean, it doesn't really matter altogether. It's all they're all just basically the same thing. Uh, they do the same thing. Now, now we're gonna go up here to the audio setting. This part's actually really important because a lot of people actually have trouble with it when um when they're trying to like record and trying to like get everything ready. So uh, basically with audio, you wanna make sure that you have two devices for recording. So See, I'm gonna have one device, which is my headphones. My headphones, that's what I'm listening to when I listen to music, when I play my game, that's where the sound's gonna be coming out from. And with that, you wanna you wanna choose like the good codec, and I think when you automatically have it, it has like automatic codec, like mine is at PCM, PCM 4800 Hz, uh, 16 bit stereo. You wanna use stereo, cause stereo is higher definition than mono, but um, it, it should give you like a standard one that you should be able to just use easily. And then you're gonna go to this, uh, after that one, you're not gonna see this two right here, actually going to see a plus and minus. So with the plus and minus, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the plus, like the plus, and then it's going to give you another one. So basically when it gives you another one, um, you're going to click on that. You should you should see you should see two right there. You just see two, but when you get that, you want to go onto that audio stream, you want to click here, and then you want to choose your microphone. And which mine mine would be the my blue snowball basically. So I'm gonna have that and then you're gonna have the headphones. So yeah, the blue snowball and the headphones. And you also want to make sure you have record sound on this for everything, so that way that way it works like the best. And you also want to make sure you have it on the right, on the right thing for the uh, microphone as well, so that it works better. Okay, and let me just delete that one. So we have these two ready, and then 
Next, we're going to screenshot. It doesn't really matter. I suggest you put out a PNG and either a 97 or higher, like quality, if you don't have a JPEG. But um, yeah, all that all that stuff is fine. Um, next, you want to go to uh, that should be it. I think I think that should be it. So that's all the settings you want to have for DX3. And then now uh, for the settings on your uh, Visual Boy Advance. So it's a Visual Boy Advance. It's a it's a Game Boy emulator and such, but you want to make sure that it could really, you could really, it really could, you can really change the how your gameplay looks and is recorded using it. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up, uh, say let's open up, um, I guess Pokemon X and Y. This is just a random ROM hack I have on my desktop. I mean, it's just yeah, random ROM hack. So let's see, we open it up and it's going to start playing and whatever. And this is what it looks like. And it looks, it looks good. You know, it looks good. It looks like, oh, it looks like you can play and play it on a computer for a long time. But then, when you're recording, to get even like a higher quality, which one I'm gonna do is we're gonna go to options. Inside the options, we're gonna go here and gonna go to video, and you're gonna go to render method. Now, when you have your render method, it's, it's naturally gonna be on direct draw, and you wanna have when it has it on direct draw, it should it looks fine. Everything looks like this, but when you record it, it might not look as great quality. And then now you might be thinking if you've used DX before, if you used, uh, like, especially with, like, Desmume and DS, like, uh, emulators, you might want to put it on OpenGL. But the thing is, if you put it on OpenGL with, uh, Visual Boy Advanced, it doesn't really work with DX3, so you have to use Direct3D. And so, when you put it on Direct3D, when you start recording, like, I guess we could just start recording now. When you put it on that, uh, it'll have, like, a much higher quality than, like, when you have it on everything else. Like, it, it like, the pixels will kind of show up better and all of those shenanigans like, let's do whatever let's do all this so basically I just want to show you what it looks like um yeah and and yeah it, it doesn't really look it doesn't really look it, it doesn't really look like it has like any of a difference but when you actually look at the recording it'll definitely be different like so I'm gonna record like this this is the first recording I'm gonna go to options I'm gonna go to video we're gonna put it back on direct draw and it see it's, it, it, it's very barely noticeable but it, it that that notice of that like that difference is actually really large when you're making your videos. So yeah, um, let me stop that recording real quick. So we want to keep it on render method on direct 3D. So yeah. So yeah, that's it basically. Um, so yeah, basically what you want to go to is going to go to where we saved it. So we're going to go to volume. We're going to go to applications, uh, the X3 vids, and now we're going to go to or not wrong place. Uh, videos, the X3 vids, and then we're gonna go to our recording, which would be this and yep, this is the recording of it. So basically, we have this. See the quality? It looks, it looks, it looks okay. It looks like it's like kind of okay, but then you, you notice that it looks kind of fuzzy around the edges, and that's like the real problem that we have when you record instead of like direct draw. It looks kind of fuzzy. Like the quality isn't exactly the same. But then we open up the. Uh, uh, direct draw 3D one. If you look, it looks so much sharper and it looks so much better. Like the quality is just it's just a lot better, and it just uh, it looks it just looks a lot better. Like, and also, if you notice that when we recorded the um, size of the frame as um, direct draw, it's going to be much smaller, and therefore you try to make it larger, it won't really like look the same, and the quality will be much worse. Whereas if you record instead of a uh, direct draw 3D, it will make it uh, like a much larger file, much clearer, much crisper, and all that jazz. So yeah. Basically, after you've recorded your video, you can basically edit in any kind of like uh, editing software I use, such as Camtasia, Adobe Premiere, Sony Vegas, any kind of things like that. And yeah, if today helped you guys, make sure to leave a like, comment, all that kind of good stuff. You guys have a great day, and yeah, have a good day, guys, and bye.